The formula for simple interest is I equals PRT. Okay, now I stands for interest. Now if you're borrowing the money, that's the interest, that's the extra amount that you pay the bank for being able to use their money. Okay, if you are saving it or investing it, that's the amount of money extra you get back. So P is the principal, and that just means the um, chunk of money that you are dealing with at the beginning. R is the rate. Okay, now in a standard formula like this, this is the interest rate per year. At the end of one year, what's the interest rate? And T is always in terms of time, and it's in years. Okay, now there's kind of a trick here. Sometimes you aren't going to um, use the money or borrow the money or invest the money for a full year. So, for example, if it's nine months, you're not going to put a nine in place of the T, okay? That would be nine out of 12. So think of part of a year. All right, let's take a look at this first situation. You're going to take out a loan for $5,000 for three years at a 6.5% interest rate. Okay, so here's the formula. I equals PRT. It's all multiplication. And you want to know the interest rate that you would have to pay back. And then, of course, at the end, we're going to add it to the $5,000 to see how much you totally have to pay back. So the principal is going to be $5,000 times the rate, and it's 6.5%, but make sure you change it to a decimal amount, 0.06. Remember, the decimal point has to go from where it is, 6.5, two places to the left to get rid of the percent symbol. Time is going to be, of course, 3. That's in terms of years. Okay, now it's just a simple multiplication problem. You're going to get $975. Okay, now that's just the interest. Okay, what's the total to pay back? Well, that would be your $5,000 that you borrowed in the first place, plus the $975 that you have to pay extra at the end of the three years. So, of course, that would be $5,975 simple interest total with the principal.